See? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth? I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? Time of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Turn invisible? I don't feel like God. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, you will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Rock and Sindri? They do not need to know. Boulder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Tears Vault, do we? I mean, we're gone. 
We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? I will show you. Let's try this again, without interruptions. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war. But one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful. Using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes? This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim town. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is this black room? Don't know. I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! Naturally. Didn't think it would be that easy. No. I was kind of hoping. So what now? Brother, up there! The winds of hell! The winds of what? When you were sick, we went to Helheim to get your cure. You did? Terrible experience, by the by. Your da picked up a new trick, though, with a little help from Brock. Brock was there, too?
Well, that's unfriendly. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect. Be careful, brother. Leia's not here to bring you back if it's happened to you. What'd you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Okay. That's from a great desert land, very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. Good or bad? And not as simple as that, I'm afraid. You see in that vault that set you off. It is not important. 
Seemed important to you. It was a rash impulse. Stands to reason the second ring should behave like the first. Just need to capture the window. <laughs> I just want another truth from now, okay? I don't care if it hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck. Those saws were scary. Look! It's the wolf giants. Skull and Hati. That's right. The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. Right? Did Tyr know them? I don't know. Like them well enough to cover a massive wall in his vault with them, though. Don't you enjoy it at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place?
Get out of here. I'm fine. How do we get you out? Pull chains on the wall. What? There are three of them. What do I do? Atreus, focus. You can do this. Please, honey. I don't know yet if I can drown. Okay, six. Hati's the Silver One. He hunts them. Skull's gold and he chases the sun. For Ragnarok to happen, they have to eat them. But these are out of order. Good boy. So the moon goes on the left, sun on the right. With Midgard in the middle, well, which bar do I pull? Middle bar. Left. 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 The middle. Sun on the right, Midgard in the middle. Left boy! Middle bar! Moon, Midgard, Sun. Moon, Midgard, Sun. Take! Middle quickly! Pull the right! The middle! The right boy! Get it! Well, I can't drown. Guess that's something. Saved you. That was cunning, boy. The road's free. I think we did it. Hi. Let's go see what Tears got for us. No, raised protection room. It rubbed off. What should we do? We keep going.
I will be better. The power of this weapon, any weapon, comes from here. But only when tempered by this, by the discipline, the self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come. Oh! <laughs> 
I'm turned around. Which way is the sandball back up? close to the end. End. Really? It smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? Hmm. It's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah. But who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Huh? Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god. Having learned that travel room to Jotunheim, we can now head back to the gateway on top of the peak and put that magic chisel to good use. Nobody's getting in our way this time. Come on! I'm gonna tell Sindra I'm a god. 
I'd like to see the look on his face. No. I may have kept your secret too long. But now you will keep our secret. Huh. I told you. We should come back with the cipher. Why should we hide where we are? Secrets are Odin's way. Shouldn't we be open? Like Tyr? Tyr kept secrets too, for good reasons. To protect people. It is wiser to be discreet. That doesn't mean you should lie to your friends. Or your family. I'm sure Sindri would understand and do the same lie. So what? Excited to finally see the land of the giants? Yeah. But also sad the journey's almost over. Oh, what if we get to Jotunheim and there aren't any giants there either? Makes little difference to us. Fulfilling your mother's wish is what is important. Ah! Oh, don't go anywhere. Be with you in two shakes. Father, can I tell him? No. Tell me what? Did you put this wheel in your mouth? Oh, God. I I'll vomit. I I'm not kidding. I'll throw up on it. It is nothing. A family matter. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up already. I see. Yeah! We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems! Um... All right. That hurt a little. Let's have a look at your gear, then. was gonna stop us. Why did you speak to the dwarf like that? Aren't you sick of hearing about him and his brother? Of course. But it serves nothing to make an enemy of him. We should know the truth, even if it hurts. It was needless and unkind. Truth is more important than kindness. Your mother would disagree. She wasn't a god. Why don't you let me carry it up from here? 
No. Why not? We're almost there. You know I can handle it. Can you? After the way you spoke of her, I question that. What? That she wasn't a god? She was better than a god. And you shall not dishonor her. Fine. Take her yourself. would explain the hefty magical lock on the outside. But it's more than that. I have this feeling like something is waiting for us down here. You've a knack for ominous statements, lad. What kind of something? I'm not sure. Something powerful. Whatever you feel, boy, we will handle it. We have come this far, yes? Yes, father. Valkyrie? Imprisoned? She actually did it. A Valkyrie? But I thought they were just spirits. Take caution, lads. A Valkyrie in the flesh? I can't think of a more formidable opponent. She does not attack. Does she even know we're here? Freed me from my corrupted form. You have my eternal gratitude. But my sisters remain trapped as I was. Take my helm. Find them. Free them. The fate of the Valkyries rests on your shoulders. Fate of the Valkyries. Sounds pretty important. That's putting it mildly, lad. What do you know of them? 
A fair question, and yet not one easily answered. I know more than most, but much of their history is veiled in secrecy. My own experience with the Valkyries ends with my imprisonment. You are avoiding the question, Head. As I said, brother, it's complicated. I don't know why or how they become such wretched creatures, but perhaps if we can free more of them... You want us to find more of those things? The fate of the Valkyries, lad. A more worthy endeavor there is not. It will be dangerous. Well, that hasn't stopped you before, eh? story about Odin trying to follow us to Jotunheim before we get there. Isn't it a lot simpler if they want us dead because we're gods? And they think we're a threat? I suppose we can't rule it out. But Odin's ways are subtle and his purposes uh, are... Enough about Odin's I suppose that's Odin's doing too. Nice try. You and Mother always said all gods were evil. But we're not. Tyr wasn't. Freya neither. The Acer gods, that's who's evil. And you know what? Odin's right. We are a threat. 
because we know what they are and we know we can beat them. Well, not all of them. Not yet. Magni did his worst, and he's dead. They're no better than us, and they're gonna be sorry they picked this fight. He did more than that. Move it. Or we'll pick up where he left off. I'll kill you. No. He is beaten. Not worth killing. He should pay for what he said about Mother. I said no. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before I gave it to her. What are you doing? This is a much better knife than mother's. You killed against my wishes. You lost control. Haven't you been teaching me to kill? I have been teaching you to survive. We are gods, boy. And that makes us a target. From now until the end of days, you are marked. So I teach you to kill, yes. But in defense of yourself. Never as an indulgence. Nobody cared about him anyways. What's the difference? There are consequences to killing a god! Why? How do you know? How do you know? Watch your tone, boy. Whatever. <laughs> 